Hello. Um, we had a great session this morning in relation to youth issues and the future of Ireland um, in relation to young people. As you may know, 40% uh, of the population is under 30. That's a pretty serious uh, population. It's the youngest population in Europe, and we have the highest birth rate. And that really is going to be the future of this country in 20, 30, and 50 years. And we do need to be looking at a longer-term vision for this country beyond five-year elections or seven-year presidential elections. And so my question to each of you quickly would be that if we were to come to you, our organization, SpunOut.ie, or any young people, it might be this man here and his troops from Donegal, if we were to come to you in the Aris in 12 months' time, what would be the one thing that you would have done for the young people in Ireland that are suffering at the moment in relation to unemployment, mental health, and a whole range of fears and inadequacies? What would be the one thing that you would have done that is different, that can capture their imagination right okay, now? Okay, maybe we could have a minute each from uh, the participants. Sean, do you want to start with that one? Yeah, sorry, what's your first name? Rory. 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 I think that's a super question, Rory, and I think it was one of the things that spurred me when I got involved in Foro again, Mark and Affirma, many years ago. That's what shaped who I am. And it spurred me to become a professional youth worker, and in doing so, I understood that there were two, two, two things that would help young people. One was a sense of education, and the other was genuinely employment. But at the back of that is a sense of confidence, and behind that is a sense of self-esteem. All of us who get involved in sporting organizations or who grow up in a caring environment where self-esteem is cultivated, we don't get into trouble because we choose the right decisions. We choose the right partners and we don't get involved in alcohol and drug abuse because we look after ourselves. And I think the most important thing is to nurture that sense of self-esteem in families and in communities where we support each other. And what could you do that was practical? I think to set that out all the time on an agenda and to raise it as a core issue because it's left behind and particularly with more and more young people and men particularly are afraid to speak out and ask and share their feelings and I think for me as somebody who is brought up in that and I would be speaking out on disability on mental health because I think you have got to be a role model and sometimes you have to take some risks to go out and talk about issues in order to allow other people to follow you and to do the same. Okay, Michael D. Higgins. I think that it's uh, very important that we've ex established the principle of intergenerational justice. I agree with Ruri on that. Is that every decision we take should be judged not for its short-term effect but for its long-term consequences. I think that we should encourage us in 12 months' time is that young people should be encouraged to hold fast their, to their affirmation of human worth in their own right as, as, as essence rather than seeing, thinking, for example, that thinking that the economy has to, if the economy fails them, they must hold on to their self-worth. They can only do this together, and they can do this by rejecting the inevitabilities of forms of the economy, and by, I think, also offering each other solidarity. And let me say it, uh, depend, getting rid of the scourge of loneliness and isolation that so affects young people and often leads to youth suicide. Okay. Mary? Thank you. Great to see you here, Rory, and uh, I admire your organisation, spun out very much in the work that you do when I was involved in the setting up of social entrepreneurs, and I know you've been part of that uh, programme. Certainly, I uh, believe in the power of young people. I believe in the spirit of young people. I believe in the capabilities of young people. I think that should be encouraged. It should be nurtured. Uh, it should be led. And I would certainly be willing to do that. I think young people need to be listened to. I think oftentimes we don't tend to listen to our young people. And they are the future leaders of tomorrow. I think they should be encouraged. And I also think they should be applauded for the good things that they are doing. And when you think of young people, uh, a young boy in Castlebar, who when he came home from uh, school in the evening, he sat up on his bicycle and he went down the road to an elderly man's house and looked after him for the evening, lit the fire for him and bolted up the doors before he left. That's 
real community spirit and there are lots of young people through, social, yeah, through young social innovators, through Faroiga and many other clubs that I've been involved with in the community work that I have been doing and I really see the power of young people. It needs to be encouraged, it needs to be nurtured, it needs to be recognised. And while I have the platform, if you don't mind, just to answer that lady because I did also uh, mention that uh, I was chair of the North-South Consultative uh, Forum along with Trevor England of bringing communities together, North and South. And I do look forward to the dream of United Ireland within the framework of the Good Friday Agreement uh, as well uh, and with the will of the majority of the people. And my own organisation, Special Olympics, has always been a 32 county organisation and I have encouraged that with the thousands of others that are involved in Special Olympics. So I just wanted to get back to you on that. Rory, every day there were, there were in my constituency organisation four families that lost five children between them to suicide. Every day I pray for those kids and for their families and the terrible thing about it is that the list is growing. There is something broken in our society. We talk about the economy. The government largely has to deal with the economy. The president can only be in a supportive role in that, can assist and encourage and network, and they can use the office for that. But what the president can do is take to the community a real message for social change. I believe in my heart that enterprise and social justice rights and responsibilities will make a difference if we all take our responsibilities as well as seeking rights. That if we create the enterprising spirit, I'm not talking about wealthy people, but create the spirit that if you go to work we'll reward you and we'll use that wealth for good public services. But also this, and I said it in my speech, we do not have an inclusive society. We have a politically correct, pretend inclusive society. And that's why kids feel left out. I will tell those kids that I have spent the first year of my term of office promoting a real inclusive society and I will take on anybody who is politically correct that I don't agree with in order to put that view. But we have to start this. I will take this parish by parish. President Robinson and President McAleese were very successful but a lot of the work they did was below the radar, working with communities. And that's the message I'll give them one year after I'm elected, if I'm elected. Rory, what did you think of the answers? I'm going to post them online to see what uh, young people themselves think of it. Um, I have to say that I, I felt personally that you all have um, an empathetic sense, um, that you all are humanitarians and, and are feeling for the suffering that is out there. But I did specifically ask for one practical thing that would capture the imagination. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think uh, in relation to some of the other issues, in relation to Rory's question, I'd be very happy, for example, to make the, one, the very first seminar that I'm talking about, one about being young in Ireland and having a consultative support, consultation on that. With regard to one last point, with regard to Rory's point, and I was conscious of not coming back with some quick, you know, trite response to say you do something in a year. The first thing I would do, Rory, is probably ask you, you and your members, what you think is most important and then try and deliver that for you. 